Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how after watching this video, you can literally save a few hours in your day by automating a lot of your work and how I did it. And before I get started, I want to answer a question I get quite a lot. Kunal, you've been doing a, you know, so many things ever since you were in uh, university. And I've, obviously, I've been graduated now for like two years. Um, I want to be honest, I have struggled with time management in the past just because I was doing a lot of things at once. So when I was in uni, I was doing a lot of uni work. And then after that, uh, you know, there's uh, open source, writing blogs, YouTube, the We Make Devs community, uh, creating content regularly to keep the, you know, socials active and all these other things, social media posts, webinars, podcast, uh, my full-time role at SIBO, open source contributions. And lastly, something that has taken a lot of my time traveling. I think this year, June was the only month when I was not out of the UK. Every single month since last September 2023, I have been traveling out of the UK. I'm even out of the UK right now. So how do you, how do you fix this problem? Well, I have shared a lot of tips. I'll make different videos on, uh, you know, different topics on how you can, you know, save time. But the number one thing that has helped me and helps a lot of other people is thinking about how valuable your time is. So for example, I posted a video on YouTube. Okay, I have to record the videos. I can't ask someone else to do that. That's fine. I will maybe hire an editor. You know, I, if I edit the videos myself, I'll be like, okay, is this really worth my time or can I pay someone else to do it? So you have an estimate of how valuable your time is. Let's say $10 an hour, $100 an hour, $1,000 an hour, whatever. So I'll be like, okay, this is not worth my time. I can pay someone to do it for me. They get some money, they get some experience or whatever. They get a job, part-time role or whatever, and I get my work done. I don't have to worry about that. Similarly, uh, whenever I posted something new, we want to share it on Discord in our community. Like, hey, people, Kunal just posted a new video. Go check it out, new tutorial. Instead of me doing that, I will just hire a Discord uh, community manager. I will pay them some money and they will maintain the community for, um, you know, for we make devs, so on and so forth. Things have been changing now. I have replaced the people that I hired with automation software. Especially now that we're living in the age of AI, some amazing tools out there that you can utilize from day one. Okay, this may sound a little bit exaggerating, but you can try it yourself. I think what I share in this video, automation tools and how to automate your workflow, from day one, you will be able to save, save a few hours. At least that was what it was like in my case, because I do a lot of stuff. I work with a lot of tools. So automation, if there's a summary for whatever I've been speaking uh, for a while, automation is key. Let's say you are scraping some website, you are, let's say, filling some form, you want the forms to be automatically added in a Google Sheet. And um, let's say you, let's say I uploaded a new video in my playlist Whenever I upload a new video in my course playlist on YouTube, it should automatically send a post to my Twitter account or X account or LinkedIn account or send it in the Discord channel or Slack channel. And uh, that's what I'm going to show you today, how you can automate your life. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. If you're not doing it, please do it because then you can focus on things that actually matter. This is why I feel like AI is not going to replace developers. It's just going to do all the mundane, you know, boring tasks for you while you can focus on building creativity and things that actually matter. Let's get started with the demo. Links to the resources can be found in the description below. We're gonna use Zapier, and uh, I believe I pronounced that correctly. Um, and also you can get started for free without adding a credit card. So you get the trial for their pro services as well, but you can use it for free as well. A link in the description below if you wanna check it out. Um, we're gonna do the demo now. And um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Let's get started. All right, so let's get started. We're going to use Zapier. It has a lot of uh, integration, so like Google Sheets, Facebook, LinkedIn, you know, all the other, you know, a lot of platforms. What we're going to do is we're going to create a Zap. I'm not going to create it. I'm going to ask AI to do it for me. Um, you know, in the old days, you used to do it manually, but now automation is taken to a whole new level with AI. Zap is basically a workflow. Let's start with something simple that I use daily. Whenever I upload a new video in a playlist, it should send a post on, let's say, my LinkedIn, okay? 
So I'll go to my Zap workflow. I will say, hey, when I add a new video in my YouTube playlist, send a post on LinkedIn. Not a problem. So the co-pilot is working. It's magic. It's going to give me an outline for my Zap. Here you can see that looks good. Add all these steps to Zap here. Cool. Now I can just filter it out. So here I can say app is YouTube. That is fine. Whenever I add a new video in the playlist, you can also have a custom action built with the help of AI, but I will just go with this one. I have my YouTube account added already. You just connect it using Google. Continue. Playlist ID. So let's say I want to track the webinars playlist. This URL, the list you are the list ID is in the URL. Playlist ID is this. Continue. Test trigger. Yeah, that's fine. It's all right. Cool. That's okay because we have not yet set up uh, step number two. So LinkedIn is the app I want to use. Create a new update. Select my LinkedIn account, Kunal Kushwaha. Yeah, that is fine. Continue, configure. Choose a LinkedIn page. Let's say I want to share it on uh, vMake Devs. And then uh, what content? I can also ask AI to write, write it for me. So Copilot is suggesting what should be the content of your post. I will say it should be the description only. Let's just post the description. Preview URL, I'm going to ask again Copilot. It's going to give me the youtube.com URL. Thumbnail image, I'm also again going to ask Copilot. It's going to say the thumbnail URL here. Preview title, I will again ask. You can leave it empty if you want. I'm just going to write the title that is being given by Copilot. Description as well. Yeah, that's fine. Allow mentions in the content. True. And that looks good. Continue. This all is fine. Comment is fine. Actually, for the com preview URL, preview title, allow mentions, updated content. Yeah, that is fine. Continue. That is all good. As you can see, it got the latest one. I'm going to skip the test. I don't want to test it. I will just publish it. How simple was that? So your Zap will run whenever a new video in playlist trigger event occurs in YouTube. Let's do that. Let me add a new video in my YouTube playlist and we will see on the community's uh, LinkedIn profile, page posts, view as member, my posts, it should be over here. Right. Um, what video should I add? I can add any video. Um, let's add something from Grafana. Let me just add this one, not a problem. Save it to the webinars playlist. Saved. All right, so here we can see that it was successful for one task. If I refresh, it should be posted on my LinkedIn account. Here we go. Here we go. So it took the URL. It took the whole description. Obviously, we can modify it and do a bunch of stuff. This was only a demo, so I'm going to delete my post. How cool is that? Nice. I'm going to remove it from my webinars playlist. That was nice. Simple. I stopped it manually, so that is fine. But if you get stuck somewhere, the AI also helps you in fixing the problem. So this is how I've used it, you know, in my day-to-day. -day. And uh, basically, you can also check out how other people are using it. So one of the ones that I really like is whenever I get a new attachment in my Gmail, in the mail, I just save it to a drive folder, okay? Or you want to add some leads that you get from Facebook or some other website into a Google Sheet, you can do that as well. You can also use Trello, you can uh, use Typeform, you can use... Um, similarly, I posted on LinkedIn, I can also post messages in, in my 
Discord. You can also send email via Gmail for new Google form submissions. Anyone submits a Google form, you can send them an email. Bunch of stuff that you can do. It's pretty cool. Upload new Google Drive videos to YouTube. So it uploads the video from your Google Drive to YouTube as well. Add transactions in Wave from Stripe. So you can see the possibilities are endless. Okay, let's do a really nice one. Let's say I want to create a zap. Let's say take submission via Google Forms, add the submissions into Google Sheets. So submit, someone submits a form, either type form or Google Form. I will add all of those submissions in a Google Sheet and then email the submission. Let's see how that works. That's a little bit, you know, it's a good, good, good enough. I'm just trying to tell you, you know, how thinking outside the box and uh, possibilities are endless. So you can see Google Forms. I will just add all the steps. That's fine. Google Form trigger event, new form response connect an account i'm going to have to sign in so i will do that all right i'm going to allow add my google account that is fine continue form i can create a new form forms.google.com okay so that is fine i'm going to create a blank form let's call this course registration or something so i will take let's say the name email that's it let's just let's just do it simple course registration register for our upcoming courses just to give you an example okay go back to my home screen that's fine now refresh refresh results course registration select the form that looks good test the trigger to confirm your you'll find recent form responses it should give empty because there are no yeah there are no new form responses step number two after you have gotten the Google form, what you're going to do is you're going to create a new spreadsheet row, allow signing in, that's fine, continue, configure the drive, my Google Drive is fine, which spreadsheet, I can create a new spreadsheet, sheets.google.com new spreadsheet i call this course registration okay then i just refresh refresh course registration should be here there we go worksheet just sheet one is fine Okay, it's saying add headers as well. All right, so I have to add the header. So I'll just add name and email. Let me do that. Name, email. That should work. Refresh. Yep. Copilot suggestion, what is Copilot giving me? Name. Copilot suggestion for email would be email. Continue. Skip test. Or I can just test. That's fine. Continue. That, that, that looks good. Step number three. I have to now send an email. So send an outbound email change it email by zapier or 
or I can say Gmail as well. Yeah, I can use Gmail or email by Zapier. It's fine. Okay. I can send it to respondent email subject. Thanks for registering for the courses. Hi, I want to get the name of the person. Hi, name. We are very excited to have you on board. You can also add attachments, form name, reply to CC, BCC, force line break, enable read receipts, so on and so forth. Configure, test step, that looks good. Publish, publish. All right, now, how do we do this? Whenever I submit a form, copy URL so whenever I submit the form I will say let's say Rahul Rana or email I will just say let's say it's kunal at co.com submit course registration done okay it added the entry that works but it failed in the outbound email so I can ask the AI to fix it for me AI is thinking which is nice. The error indicates that the to field is missing a value. Okay, rookie mistake. To the respondent email, actually this should be email only, not respondent email. Yeah, yeah, that, that works. Continue, skip test, publish. Let's call this version one. Okay. Can I replay this entire zap? No, or the only the errored steps. Let's replay the errored steps. It should work now. Success. Cool. Nice. All right. Submit another response. I'll show you the email. It should have, I should have received an email on kunal at sivo.com. Okay, so that worked. As you can see on kunal at sivo.com, I have received uh, this email. Obviously, if you sign in with Gmail, you can change the email via which you are sending the email. Obviously, you can send it to your own, but for demo purposes, I wanted to show you. Very cool stuff. I would say the, you know, possibilities are endless. So I, I really want to see how you are utilizing it. Um, so share it on social media uh, by creating your own zap tag me tag zapier and I would love to see how you are utilizing this because I, I really find it interesting how people are you know using AI and automation softwares so I think it's pretty cool other things you can check out like tables interfaces chatbots which are beta canvas which is beta check out all the other applications maybe try building something with google drive uh, you know type form uh, facebook um, and all sorts of things you can see trending ones as well. Try building something with Stripe or Twilio. So I think the possibilities are endless. This was really, really fun to shoot. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun doing this. So if you're not already utilizing these automation tools, I highly recommend you to do so. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, this is how I use it as a, you know, YouTuber, content creator, community manager. I have a full-time job, a lot of stuff that I'm doing. So yeah, this has been extremely helpful. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comment sections below. If you have any suggestions you want me to try on uh, specific use cases for Zapier, I'm sure we'll be doing much more in the future tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.